Hey everybody, VY2MJ here, Michael, and today we're going to show you the Yesu, probably one of the most important features on this transceiver, which is backing up and restoring your backup and the use of an SD card. So I am going to show you this card here. These cards you can use up to about a 32. In this particular case, you don't need anything fancy, so there's no sense putting a super expensive high-speed memory card that you might be using in a top-of-the-line mirrorless camera. Just grab whatever you have. It's going to work and you're not really storing that much data. When you put the card in and you take it out, the radio should probably be off. And that is because you may corrupt the data if you pull it out while it's operating. So it just slides in there. We hold the power button in the top right down for a couple seconds. And the radio will boot up because essentially it's more of a computer than it is radio these days. What you're going to do is access your menu with all your functions on it. And starting at 107 is backup. But I'm going to show you a couple other things here first. The first time you're using a card that's foreign to the radio, it is a good idea to format it in the radio, not with your PC or your Mac or your notebook computer. Format it in the radio. We're not going to do that today because I have data on it, but essentially that's all you do. Hit OK and Bob's your uncle. It's formatted. This particular card, if we go to function 108, it shows us how much space we've used. I've got a bunch of backups and stuff on here. I've used a whole 18 megabytes. So we've got 99.9% .9 of this card is free to use. If you have the latest firmware update, which I have as of January 2024, you can do multiple backups, whereas the previous firmware, from what I understand, could not. Hitting the back button, you would go up to 107 here, backup, press the button, and it's pretty simple. If we want to do a backup, we press this button. It will ask us if we want to write the memories or just the setup. We are going to write everything. So that will back up your, your settings, your memories, and everything pertaining to this particular radio. If you're installing a new firmware version, you have to do a hard reset on the radio. So you want to do a backup first, install your firmware, which again you do with the SD card. The instructions are on the ESU website. And then you would, after the firmware update, restore your SD card from here. Just read from SD card and select what you want to restore. It would be all. And I wonder if it's going to give me a choice of more than one. Oh, there we go. So there's the list. So this is the new firmware. Gives you a list of all your backups. Presumably 05 is the latest one that we just did now. So you hit that button. It's all restored and everything's great. Now you can program this radio with the Yesu software, which is free, which is on their website as long as you connect the cable that you buy from them. Or you can go to RT Systems and they have a third-party software, which I have to assume is better because it's third-party. They also have their own cable. The cable essentially turns your USB port into a serial port, talks to the software, the only thing you will have to do with the software that I had to do is you do have to tell it what COM port you're on. So I went into the device manager. It said it was on COM port 3. Once I configured that, it talked. The SD card is far more reliable. Works 100% of the time. The software I found was kind of not 100%, but it gives you the opportunity to use a much... Uh, it gives you an opportunity to use a full-size keyboard and screen to enter all your memories in, which is a lot easier than trying to do it with a little tiny screen. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel.